A powerful Natural One feature is code coverage, which has two primary use cases. The first is identifying dead code, or code that is never executed. The benefit of this is reducing complexity in your source code, make code more readable, and so better maintainable. The second use case is to check whether your test cases are in fact covering the code you are expecting them to test. One of the prerequisites for running the code coverage analysis is that all the objects have been compiled with the natural compiler option coverage equals on. So activate now code coverage for this specific compile. When you're sure that all modules have been compiled correctly, you can go ahead and run the analysis. Because we need to specify the additional dynamic parameter to activate the data collection for coverage analysis, we will select Run As and change the run configuration. In the Natural Server tab, you need to specify Active equals On and the location where to save the collected data. Then click Apply and Run. In the Console view, you will see when the program has finished. Navigate into the Server view and after refreshing the Resource folder, an NCVF file containing the collected data will appear. We now need to copy this file to the local environment for analysis. Right-click on the file and add it to the existing project. Let's now open it by selecting Natural 1 and open with Natural Code Coverage. At the bottom of the screen, the Code Coverage tab will display the results of the analysis. Take a look at the last module in the view you can see that its code coverage is at 100%, meaning that every line of code in the source has been executed. If you look at the first object, you'll see that it only has a code coverage of 62.4%. Let's double-click to open up the object and scroll down. We can see that all the lines that have been executed are marked with a light green background. When we scroll down, we can see that there's a big chunk of code that was never executed. Based on what you see, you'll have to decide if those lines are needed, or if the input data is sufficient to test all aspects of the object. To summarize, the program that had been compiled with the compiler option coverage equals on needs to run with the dynamic parameter coverage active equals on, and a specification of where the collected data should be stored. After the run, you need to transfer the resulting file from the server environment to the local project for further analysis.